So we had a very long travel journey to get here to Albania from Cape Town. Obviously we had to fly from Cape Town to Dubai, which was about a nine hour flight and everything was fine. We landed, I think it was about like 5 p.m. Dubai time. For us it was 3 a.m. But then we get off the plane and we had to take like a bunch of buses through terminals. I got super nauseous. So the whole time during our layover in Dubai, which was like three or four hours, I was throwing up, not feeling good. And we still had another six hour flight from Dubai to Tirana. There were even times during it that I'm like, I just wanna be home. I don't wanna do this anymore, but just had to power through it. And now we're here in Albania. Our stuff for me I got the beef one, you got cow head. <laughs> it's like eating at home for me, like when my mom makes food. Mm -hmm. oh, it's good. What did you just try? This was cow's head, cow's head soup. We're here for it. My stew was delicious. <laughs> now it's time for some coffee, though. We'll definitely make it safe. So the cow head stew, the way that they make it essentially is they boil the cow's head until the meat falls off, apparently. Uh, it's definitely uh, something that I was a little sketched out by, but it was delicious. It was so good. So, so you can see like the heat, the, the, the heat coming off of it. Now we're moving on to something sweet. It's like a fresh tart. It's like a churro. It's very good. How many times did I get to say it's hot? I think if the if you recorded the entire channel, how many times she said it's hot in our travels, it'd probably be well over a hundred. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. Easy. Just for in the shade. Apparently this happens like once or twice a month. It's like a drifting competition or something. It's, I don't know, it looks pretty cool. We just sort of stumbled into it. It's like how I drive, right? <laughs> yeah, basically. I wish I could drift like that. No, I mean, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but no, never with you. Cheers, 
So yesterday we enjoyed our food tour so much that we got a little bit inspired and wanted to do another cooking class while we were abroad. So today we're taking a cooking class. I haven't eaten all day today, so I am <laughs> literally starving. So I truly hope that there's a ton of food at this thing. I'm sure it's gonna be like typical Eastern European style. There's gonna be a lot of food, so we should I be good. So. I hope so. Let's that see. last place at the, at the food tour was like amazing. So mm -hmm. I hope this like, I hope this. Let's get ready for more Albanian food. Basically it's yogurt with, with water. Yeah, that's a no for me. And mm -hmm. uh, love, yeah. yeah. For me, yeah. Mine, at least. Yeah. It's yeah. yogurt, but more liquid. That's crisp. I can't tell you Don't take too long, then, Sarah. Keep it waiting. <laughs> I didn't solve that thing. will be the star, The first dish will be tough coffee. This one is our national dish. How are you doing over there? Butchering this tomato. It's a, it's a fine line between diced and smashed. Well, <laughs> says you said cubes. Yeah, well, that's about as cute as it's gonna get. This doesn't look like a cube this, to me. This, this is like an octagon. This is a, <laughs> this is a cube right here. <laughs> You're doing great, sweetie. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> this is gonna be some spicy bread. I'm glad you're at least using the dull side of the knife. Okay, so we are supposed to cube the, the meat here. Let's check out Anna's cubes versus my cubes. These are looking a little busted compared to Anna's. <laughs> Yeah. And as I told you, the first step of boiling, it's not for cooking the meat, it's cooking the meat. Cooking makes me nervous, that's why I'm sweaty. <laughs> it's like you're very sweaty right now. Yeah, because I was doing that poorly. You're pinching the dough. Very poorly. So, now we get to eat. Oh, that was a big bite. Mm. Yo, that is so good. <laughs> that is it looks delicious. Like so good. You can stop, stop recording, eat this right now. Oh, how's the yogurt? Mm -hmm. Do you have this yeah. to eat with it? Oh yeah, it's like the yogurt that we made yesterday, earlier just kind of became like cheese-like. Mm -hmm. Cooking class is done. I'm stuffed beyond belief. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm full. I'm super full. That was well worth the time, the money, everything. It was so mm -hmm. good. Everything that we had was beyond expectations. Yeah. The host is great. She was super welcoming and warm. I would highly recommend the class. We'll leave the link in the description down below. We also got to meet some people from Czech and Australia. So it was really nice to just like meet other people, talk about traveling, eat a bunch of food. Yeah. My favorite thing about traveling, so. So it's about six o'clock on our way home from our cooking class. We decided to just take a brief stop in a park <laughs> on the way home. Why is that? What do you mean? Because we got tired. Oh no, we're super tired yeah. right now. It's like a half an hour walk, which isn't bad, but it's really nice weather out, so. Yeah. But I think it's crazy. I think one of the main things that we were super surprised about when we came to Albania was just like the culture of staying out as late as you can. I mean, there's so many different uh, coffee shops and sidewalk shops that you know you'll we'll go past at like eight o'clock, ten o'clock at Restaurant. night. Restaurants. Restaurants. Yeah. Uh, people will be having coffee but, 10, 11, 12 mm -hmm. o'clock at night, which is insane out on the patios. Um, you just don't typically see that. In, in no, places. and I think too, it's like 
they open up early too so it's like a lot of restaurants will open up at like 8 a.m and we'll stay open till like midnight or 2 a.m like like every day of the week so yeah. it's like a very lively city and like everyone's just like out and about regardless of like what time of day it is and i think that's been like a very stark contrast coming from cape town where like usually when it's like nighttime everyone just like stays inside versus here sometimes we end work at midnight and it's like bumping on a tuesday so yeah. it's crazy <laughs>